people, my name is Tagore, and welcome to Dragon Warrior. This game is so special to me. Uh, I guess let's just get started, and then uh, I'll explain why it's so, uh, so special. Uh, I'm gonna start a new quest. Um, I meant I'm gonna erase this one, and I only did that, uh, I only made that as a, uh, a way to test recording and stuff. Also test out my name, which is not going to be Tagori for this. It will actually be uh, T A R I N. It will be Taryn. Taryn also is a very special name to me. Uh, it's one that I created and my friend Lane uh, kind of adopted. Of course, I want fast text speed. Descendant of Erdrich, listen now to my words. It is told that in ages past, Erdrich fought demons with a ball of light. Then came the Dragon Lord who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Now, Terran, thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. The Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou m may find in these treasure chests to aid thee in thy quest. Then speak with the gods, for they have much knowledge that may aid thee. May the light shine upon thee, Terran. Okay, so, why did I pick Terran instead of Tagori? Well, if we go into status, uh, I have a strength of 6, an agility of 4, max HP of 16. These values, uh, as uh, along with max MP, are all determined by your name. And... Uh, the way this works is that uh, it actually looks at what letters you pick, adds them up with lowercase a starting at uh, 10, I think, and then going up to 16, back down to 0, and uh, it keeps doing that. Uh, it adds up all those values, uh, divides them by 16, and then whatever remainder that you have is then uh, put in a list. The higher, the closer to 15 that you get, because having a remainder of 16 actually is uh, a zero. Um, the higher it is to 15, the, the higher that your stats will be. Uh, and then they also determine growth rates, and um, which which ones? I think I am going to be growing in strength and max HP. Uh, so, I'm going to take this chest, got 120 gold, and I found a torch, and then I have to go, oh, great, now you move. So I have to get this chest, and I get a magic key, and I needed that key to unlock this door. I actually have to select the door, and <laughs> I have to select uh, stairs to go downstairs. Uh, this game has been re-released a lot. <laughs> oh, this is a very, very famous and yeah, very popular game. Uh, it's the reason it was released, um, or, or rather. The reason it's so popular is because it was really the first of its kind. Um, the the re-releases added just a context button. And right now we are fighting. I do want to do this. Oh, great. Great first hit. I crit immediately. So, um, right now what I'm just doing, and I wonder... All I have is the torch, and then if I check my status, um... Did I not get a weapon? No, I didn't. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, let's go into this village, and right up here is the weapons shop. Go ahead and talk to him. Uh, we can buy... What do we have? 121? I could buy the club. Which I think I will do. The club should last us... Don't want to buy anything else because I, I can't. And as you can see, our sprite actually changed. We're now holding 
a weapon, a sword, but really it's a club, which I, I guess really was lost after, well, like Final Fantasy came out. And what people... I feel like people forget that this game came first. This inspired Final Fantasy. Uh, Square, uh, Square Soft, I think they were called at the time. Which you may have noticed, this was a game published by Enix, which Square and Enix have now combined into Square Enix, the popular publishers of Final Fantasy. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, that happened early 2000s, I want to say. Uh, yes, actually, because I remember Kingdom Hearts is Squaresoft, and uh, I think even Chain of Memories is Square Enix. So, um, red slimes, slimes, just taking them out, getting good experience. Uh, I do want to hit level... I want to say three. I am taking a hit every so often. But I can take a, take out all of these enemies in like one or two hits. Nothing too complicated. Uh, I think my first level is at seven experience. I could be wrong about that. So it should be our next fight will get us a level. And then we can see our growth rates actually go into effect. Uh, really, it doesn't matter too much about growth rates, because it's always a s set value that it will increase by. It's either uh, one or two values. Um, basically, you'll have two stats that are higher, two stats that are lower. So this should level us up, unless I'm wrong about that. Oh, that sound tells us that we are at level two. Uh, power increased by one, max hit points increased by six, and that is all. That's all that it did for us. Uh, eventually, uh, agility will increase and MP. I think at the next level we will get MP and a spell. Next level won't be until... Oh, I want to say 16. Probably wrong about that. Somewhere around level... or er, experience 20. Yeah, that's a phrase I've never said. Experience 20. off with 16, right? 22, okay. Hmm. So yeah, I am sitting at just under half HP. I could go heal that up, and the only way right now to do that is to go to an inn, and I, I'm not sure if there's one in the castle. No, wait, there is. There is, that's right. Take out this slime too. Twelve. Hmm, not bad. I wonder if we. I know that we can find some more difficult enemies. And a crit. Excellent move is a crit. Really, this is a very classic tale, and you'll see it later on. NES games, at least their stories, were very simple. It was, this is your goal. And, uh, as was explained, our goal is to defeat the Dragon Lord? That's what he was called? I know that his name has been changed just a little bit in future releases or new releases of this game. Uh, Draco Lord, Draco Lord. It really means the same thing. And again, I got a crit. I think, uh, agility? Affects crits? That would sound right. Nope, that's slime. We're not far enough 
to get anything more powerful. Huh. I want to say down here. We can find stronger enemies. And I'm, I'm just not sure about that. Wow, one square. Hmm. Well, we've pushed past 17. So, the way... Okay, this is really weird. The way that they did uh, enemy spawns was kind of interesting. It's all squares. And whatever land is in that square is whatever you can encounter. So you'll always encounter the same sort of groups in a specific area. And people have actually charted out what it is. And I know that somewhere around here you can fight like a really high level enemy. Sitting at 85 gold. At 90, we can actually buy some armor. And armor would be useful. Mm, not too much. We're only getting hit by one, and I, I don't know if we can, like, completely avoid damage if we get enough armor. to experience. Uh, I want to say that this game uses a true random number generator. There's our level. Uh, courage and wit have served thee well. Promoted to the next level. Power increased by two. Response speed, that's agility, increased by two. Max HP by two. And MP increased by five. We also learned a new spell, and I think that spell is heal. Right now, we don't have any MP, as you can see. Might as well check it. Yep, it's healed. Um, you also get uh, spells at very set levels. Um, ah, let me check my max HP. 24. Um, 90 gold. How much is a, a room? Stay. I have enough to cast heal. I want to say twice. I think heal costs two MP, and we have five. That's gonna be kind of rough. Um, leather armor is something I really want. Oh, it costs seventy. I was looking at the small ship. Yeah, heck, I'm gonna buy leather armor. Past these mountains. This forest. Ah, a new enemy, a Drakey. Drakeys have actually lasted to um, today, as far as I know. I think the, the most recent Dragon Warrior game. Uh, now they're called Dragon Quest. And I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, the most recent game that came out is uh, Dragon Warrior. Quest Heroes 2, I think. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, um, the reason it's called Dragon Quest now is um, there was already a game here in America that had copyrighted the name Dragon Quest, and in Japan this game was called Dragon Quest. Uh, so they had to call it something different. So they called it Dragon Warrior. Which 
if you really get down to it, it's kind of a misnomer. Because you aren't a dragon warrior. You're, you're, you're going on a dragon quest. I don't know. Unless you're, you're fighting the dragon warrior. You know, Dra Draco Lloyd. Hmm. I don't know, it's all complicated. Man, just talking this out reminds me that there's so much that I need to research on this with the, the spawn areas, the uh, experience charts, which I've actually got a list of levels, uh, at least how to get them. Uh, what level you get them at, how many experience points you get them at. God, this is confusing. <sighs> but this is great. I, I've been wanting to play just a classic RPG. And, I don't know, this this isn't the best game, but I really did grow up on this. And, it just holds a ton of memories for me. A lot of them are actually pretty funny. As you saw, the sun can actually dodge our attacks. Surprising. Um, god dang. Spawns are just crazy. This is what the game is, though. This is a very grindy kind of game. As you can see, there's a cave up there, and yes, that's what that is, and I I am not a high enough level to go in there just yet. Uh, I want to say maybe level 5, I am going to be strong enough. HP out of what? 24. Not bad then. Not terrible. I want to say our next level isn't going to be until we've got somewhere around 60 experience. I bought these a while ago. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'm now at 10 HP. God dang, these things are fast! Two damage. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself. Sorry for the flashing. I didn't know I did that. By 11? And a new spell. I want to say that spell is light. I'm not sure, though. So, I am going to go heal. Also, being on these hills does slow us down just a bit. Uh, I guess, technically, the mountains are the hills. Because those gray ones are mountains. I don't know. I never really questioned it when I was a kid. <laughs> so, I can go in here. Need 180 for our next weapon, which is the copper sword. What do these people have to say? These tower magic keys can be purchased. That's going to be useful later. If thou art cursed, come again. I really liked how they they kept the the language of the time. Art thou the descendant of Edric? Hast thou any proof? Hmm. I don't have any proof right now. But, spoiler alert, we're gonna be getting proof. Watch thy hit points when in the poisonous marsh. And, actually, we can see a poisonous marsh, uh, which we, I'm pretty sure, which was in the castle. And I don't know why that there's... 
I guess I called it super poison when I was a kid, because there's two different kinds of uh, poison swamps in the game. And eventually I will go back to the castle so you can see it. Okay, red slime. There's an enemy called a sorcerer around here. Which I don't, I don't like. <laughs> it's powerful. There it is. You're a magician. Maybe I'm stronger this time, I don't know. It's tanky. I'm hitting it with all I have. Oh great. The spell of hurt. Okay. Whew. Uh four experience. I hated how it uh, just one square. Just one square. So gold is going to be tough to get starting out. Uh, later on, it will be quite a bit easier to come by. <sighs> and I tell you, this is going to be a grindy game. So. I'll try and do a lot of that off-screen, do a lot of uh, story progression on-screen. And what spell do we have? We have Heal and Hurt. So Hurt does do quite a bit of damage to an enemy, and uh, I guess that's really our only sort of damaging spell in the game as far as I know. I'll have to check the spell list. There's not too many spells in the game. Unfortunately, Hurt is one of those that was just forgotten. It was changed through time. I want to say it was changed, but I'm not sure. Um, and actually, that is going to be it for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this intro. Later, next time, I, I want to get a few levels between episodes. So hopefully I can do that. And uh, please join me again for another episode of Dragon Warrior.